Hello, class of 2020. These past couple of months, I, like most of you, have found myself feeling nostalgic for all the moments that have made my time at Yale feel so special. But as comforting as it can be to reminisce, we must also open our hearts and minds to what lies ahead. And today we get to do both. We on the Class Day Committee are very excited to share with you the Class History Slideshow, a compilation of photos submitted by all of you commemorating our journeys as undergraduates. But before we start cringing at pictures from Yale Up, I have the honor of introducing Dean Marvin Chun, who will offer insight into our individual and collective futures as the unique class of 2020. Class of 2020, congratulations. I am so happy to be with you today, even by video, and to celebrate with you. Graduating is a great accomplishment, one of the most important ones of your life. And now that this moment has finally come, I am honored to recognize it with you. I also recognize all the work that you have done to get you here, much of it with the support of your family and friends. Today is your day and it is theirs too. Over the past week, together with you, I've enjoyed watching this series of class day videos. Tomorrow, there will be a toast to the Yale class of 2020, like what many of you have celebrated in your residential colleges. On Sunday, I'm excited for our class day speaker, Dr. Jean Bennett, a world renowned scientist and alumna. Also this Sunday, prizes will be announced on the Yale 2020 website. I am grateful to the Class Day Committee and to the speakers who all contributed to this Class Week series of videos. And I'm most appreciative to you, especially now during Senior Week. I miss seeing you on campus, and I can't wait to welcome you back to campus in due time. We've already started planning all the parties and ceremonies that we will host for you and your families. So until we meet in person, please stay safe and well. Again, class of 2020, congratulations. Thank you, Dean Chun, for your encouraging words. And now let's take a moment to look back at some of your favorite memories from the past few years. Please enjoy the class history slideshow. All right, so first question, how would you describe yourself as a first year? Oh boy. I was too confident. Naive, um, but well-intentioned. I was really eager to see what uh, Yale had in store for me for the next four years, but um, I had no idea just how much that would be. I said it was a little academically intense. I was definitely extremely caffeinated, probably at any given moment. I was energetic, enthusiastic, uh, ready to just dive in. I was always super excited about everything, but also a little lost and confused constantly. How did I overcome sophomore slump? I didn't really. Did I overcome sophomore slump? <laughs> Does anyone truly overcome sophomore slump? Yeah, I don't know if I did either. Hit that and it just went down from there. You started to feel like home when Ellie Odroyd, Lauren Teles, Sam Isik, and I committed to having breakfast together every day. When I really bought into the Sabre community. I moved into my residential college and really got to know my suite and I started feeling like a family. We threw our um, huge Christmas party. I was on the phone with my mom and she asked where I was going and I said I was going home, but I didn't mean to Texas. I was just like walking from the grocery store back to my apartment in New Haven. The last day of my first year when I had to say goodbye to my roommate and I was like, oh, wait a second, this is all over. My favorite first event, freshman Olympics on old campus. <laughs> Um, definitely my first spring fling. We did have good spring fling performers. Harvard Yale game. Harvard Yale for sure. Harvard Yale. Harvard Yale was unbelievably life changing. We won after having a really long losing streak and no one thought it was going to happen. It was so unexpected. And I'll never forget the last few minutes of that game ticking down when we realized what was happening and everyone stormed the field at the end. The community that has been most impactful on me at Yale has definitely been the Morse community. Thai City and Sphinx and Seabrook too. The acapella community and more specifically Mixed Company and the Whiffs. Aurelia and Honor Society, my secret society has definitely been there for me. Pearson College and the Yale Ballroom Dance Team. 
of which I'm a proud member. I think we both have the same answer for this yeah, one. It's do. probably the dramat. Definitely Dukes of Yale, hands down. Dukes. My favorite memory is on old campus uh, when it turns spring and everyone emerges from their dorms to picnic. That is the best, like the first sunny day on old campus. It was just beautiful weather and Isaac Scobithal, Sophia Campo-Amore, Mark Rosenberg, Emil Beckford and myself threw around, threw around a frisbee, um, kind of for the first time since freshman year. My friend Sophia Zafroko, she was doing office hours on old campus where she just like would sit outside and play guitar and sing. I lived in Bingham, which was awesome, but also I loved being so close to Harkness Tower and Hot Take, I loved hearing the bells ring every morning. I have a lot of memories of just sitting outside on the derpy benches for hours, just talking to whoever passed by. Just sitting down next to someone that you don't know on a bench and introducing yourself, and just kind of that mingling of people from all different colleges. I made some friends that lasted four years that way. Something that surprised me about Yale, honestly, is just how quickly the years went by. I can't believe like we're graduating right now. Probably just how much freedom Yale gives you. You can really kind of do whatever you want with your Yale experience, and the professors and faculty will be there to support you through it. Anyone would help you if you asked. And I think that's something that's really special. Honestly, how nice people are. Like, I feel like that's something that we people just say all the time. Like, people at Yale are so nice, but it's really true. Time is so short when you're at Yale because there's just so much to do. There's a balance, but, you know, I wouldn't have had it any other way. favorite ice cream spot on campus, Arethusa. Arethusa. Definitely Arethusa. Arethusa. Favorite ice cream spot, easily. Agreed. Arethusa. Butter pecan and a waffle cone. It was Ashley's for a long time, but now it's milk craft. Ashley's. Gotta get the frisbee. Ashley's has the best variety of flavors, but if you want richness and creaminess, go to Arethusa's. Favorite Yale dining dish? Gotta be the grilled cheese. The grilled cheese slap. Um, I always go tenders. Chicken parm. If there are multi-grain pancakes on the menu, I will wake up just for those. Finnish pancakes, and they're so good. I gotta learn how to make them. The standouts for me are always in the dessert department. Olive oil, pear, cardamom, cake. I didn't even know olive oil could be put in desserts, but it is the best thing I've ever eaten. People are sleeping on this dessert. I've already made it like three times in quarantine. It turned out terribly all three times, and I really wish that I could have just one more slice. Favorite coffee shop? Either JoJo's for the um, honey, lemon, ginger tea, or Book Traders for studying. Definitely Blue State on New York. The Acorn in Silliman College. Atticus, JoJo's, and Coffee with a K. Fussy coffee, hands down. Probably Willow Bees. Ooh, Willow Bees does it right. Book Trader Cafe, the egg and cheese changed my life. Coffee with a K because they have really good lemonade and I like lemonade. Favorite New Haven restaurant? New Haven has a ton of fantastic restaurants. Rubamba's or Epa's? Case of China. Rubamba or Oweya? The Anaya's specifically because of the midnight ramen. Mecha noodle bar. Mecha noodle bar. I think Barcelona wins. I love York side. If we're talking two o'clock on a Friday, then probably halal guys always hits the spot for me. The best study spot for me is actually in my bed. If you are staying up late, it is the Pearson Dining Hall. Mass. Music library. Murray library. An STM, the room with the fireplace, where you just put your feet up, read a book next to the fire, look out the window. And the acorn on the standing desks. mentors at Yale. Oh my god. Oh, wow. That's a big question. JT, Professor Raymond, uh, Tracy from the Good Life Center, and Sissy from the Yale College office. Certainly theater mentors, if dramatic mentors for sure. Reverend Jenny Peake, um, out here helping people navigate queerness and Christianity all the time. The actual like senior students in the student club Yale launch they had founded their own company and they were really big mentors for me and not only in like the entrepreneurship process but just growing as a person to really believe in myself. Dan Egan, this man is um, incredibly empowering and dedicated. 
um, and inspiring. And Janine Tesori, um, just a, a mind-boggling, endless well of wisdom and depth and humanity. Now that I'm in quarantine, one thing I realized I took for granted are the events and activities at Yale. Two things. The first one is just the beauty of the campus itself. Um, yeah, the buildings. And the second one is all the people and how I could just bop around from common room to common room and hang out with everyone. I, I'm really missing everyone right now. The energy of walking around and having people that you can just run into on the street and have a conversation with is, is something that I've really taken for granted. It's just the simple joy of walking place to place and seeing people you know, you know, passing by while you're walking across old campus, across campus, or up Hill House. Just being able to run into anyone's rooms and see what friends are around and want to hang out. What's something you wish you would have done before leaving campus? I wish I walked up Hill House one last time. I wish my band could have played one more time. Um, I'm a singer-songwriter and I just started performing live this year and we thankfully got to perform at Cafe 9 at the end of January and that was very nice. One last swing in the Berkeley North Court tire swing. It's going to Delenia's Pizza because I heard that it was amazing and I had made plans to go after spring break and I never made it there but I will make it one day. I wish that I would have had more of a real chance to say bye to all my best friends. I wish that we could have given each other our last hugs, had those last meaningful conversations in person. I wish I would have had one more late night conversation with my suite. Yeah. I think we had a lot of those and then they would last really long and they were so fun and I, I wish we could have had one more. I wish I could just remember and say goodbye to like one last normal day. It doesn't even have to be a perfect day, just like one last normal day. I think the most important thing that I've learned at Yale is, is just the variety and the ways that people like live their lives and, and, and how they've gotten to where they are. I've just learned about so many different ways of life. It's how to deal with really unbelievably difficult times, at least the ones I've faced so far. Um, it's taught me grit. How to prioritize our relationships and how to really be there for my friends how to stop procrastinating. Um, I just became a lot better at doing things ahead of time. Just do your best. Don't compare yourself to others and just take pride in your own accomplishments. I want to say thank you to my suite, to all of Pearson College, to the Yale Ballroom Dance Team for really giving me a home at Yale. Thank you to CNM for being the absolute best senior year roommate. Uh, you were there for me in my lows. You celebrated with me in my highs. I. I'm so grateful to you, so thank you. Thank you to the Whiff and Poofs for making me part of the class of 2020. It's great. Thank you to the class of 2019 and the class of 2020 for being my original and current communities at Yale. I would like to thank Yale for pushing me outside my comfort zone and really challenging me to think about what is it that I'm passionate about. Thank you to Professor Jewett uh, for taking the time um, to helped me understand so many different things that I hadn't known before about the humanities um, and really just giving her all for every single student she has. Thank you to Professor Tracy, uh, who taught my writing for television class for teaching my favorite class that I've ever taken at Yale uh, and making me realize as I went through the semester that um, I would love to end up in television at some point. Thank you to all my friends for the endless memories that we made. I miss you guys all so much. And thank you to Yale for um, my bright college years. We almost made it to four. Thank you to Yale for everything.